Hey up YouTube, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to part 10 of my Final Fantasy 7 No Random Encounters Challenge. After finding out that Dine was in fact Marlene's father and tipping him over the edge, literally, we make our way back to the desert prison to show Mr. Coates here our prize for defeating his boss. As it turns out, the only way we can get out from the desert prison is to enter a gigantic chicken race. So we win the race, and Big Naked Dio is very apologetic for chucking us in desert incarceration. So, as a thank you, he gives us access to our first world traversal vehicle, the buggy. We make our way across the desert to Gongaga, and prepare for the first boss of the episode. Right then, YouTube, here we are. We're just about to go into Gongaga and take on the first optional boss of this episode, which is Reno and Rude of the Turks. Now, you might be wondering why I have opted for... Aerith and Tifa for this one. It will become apparent later on. There's a couple of reasons. A, it's just to give him a little, little bit of a boost in experience, really. Especially considering we are going to be after using Aerith a little bit, Aerith a little bit more um, moving forward at this point. And B, just for the story bits that we're going to get in this next bit. Let's have a look and see what we've done for Reno and Rude, and I'll show you how we've set them both up. Uh, set them both, set them all up. So, here we go then. Uh, let's uh, start with Cloud. Now, Cloud, I've not touched really anything from Cloud from the last episode. Uh, the only thing I have done with Cloud is I've given him Restore and All. He is the only one uh, that, that, that can really have this at this point. So, I've given Cloud Restore and All. Everything else is exactly the same as the last boss fight. Uh, let's move on to Tifa. Um, so we've given her the motor drive. This is another one of those um, weapons that gives double the AP. So in the motor drive, we've just slot, slotted an all the material in there just to give it a little bit of an AP buff. Uh, we've also given her Ramu and Ice. Um, we've also given her Ifrit, Fire, and an all material. Uh, moving on to Erisith. Um, you can completely tell we've not really bothered with her because she's still got her base weapon with the guard stick, uh, with ch Choco Mog in there. Uh, we've also uh, bought her a carbon bangle. We also bought T for a carbon bangle. Um, so we've put poison and all in with her, and we've also given her the fire materia as well. So yeah, um, this is what we're gonna do now. We're gonna go and um, take on the first optional boss of this episode, and it'll be Reno and Rude. I should also also mention that one of the other reasons that I uh, brought Tifa was because she uh, Rude will not attack her. Rude will not attack Tifa, so that was another one of the reasons that I brought her along. Uh, and then we'll do that as well. Oh, okay. Right, come on then. Yeah, that was another one of the reasons why I brought Tifa along is because Rude fancies her, so he just won't attack her. I mean, I wish I'd have put her in the back row. <laughs> I completely forgot to put her in the back row. Uh, right, Aerisith. Uh, I'm gonna. Oh, actually, you know, you are gonna do that because you're you're pretty you're pretty poorly already. Right. Uh, where we are? Uh, cloud. Uh, no, I'm just gonna get you to a tag. Might as well use these uh, summons up while we can, eh? I think we need to start focusing his attacks on Reno. Come on, Tifa. Please hit Reno without not rude. Ah, oh, you bugger. Yeah, let's just start focusing his attacks on Reno because Rude just will not attack Tifa. Right, uh, Bolt. No, I'm not going to bother with that, actually. I'm just going to have you attack Tifa. You can fire both. Aerosith. Uh, oh, actually, bio. Yeah, let's try poisoning him. See what that does. See if that actually works. Oh, Jesus Christ. Cloud's looking a bit poorly here. Uh, oh, hang on. Um, potion. Can you just just try and potion Cloud, please? Because he's looking a little bit ill. Um, Aerisith. 
you can bio, please. And he's dead, isn't he? Oh no, maybe not yet. Oh, would you behave? Right. Tea for fire. Cloud. Cure all, please. Yeah, you're going to have to have a go at that. This might have been a bad choice, opting for the girls, really, because um, they've not really, <laughs> they've not really been used and they're so under level. Right, where are we at? Aerosif, Bio. Oh Christ, on a bendy bus! Right, okay, Aerosith, you must have your limit break here now. Because you're going to need to cure, please. Right, he's, he's, right. Yes, please. Please stay alive. Oh, you absolute. Um, right, Phoenix down. You. Uh, Tifa, you can fire, please. Oh, I can't believe I've just got, oh my god. This is not, this is not going well. This is not going well at all. Um, yeah. Oh, wow. This has really gone to shit. Um, fire. Limit. Cross slash. Oh, my God. This really hasn't worked. Oh, my God. Oh no, I'm really in trouble here. Cure yourself. Um, Tifa, can you please Phoenix down, Aerith? Um, oh, fuck a duck. I'm in some really bad shape here. Right, Cloud's coming up. I'm going to get him to cure. Cure. Aerith. Aerith. Uh, fire. Magic. Uh, bio, I'm um, bio rude, bio rude. Oh, son of a bitch! Come on, take light. Would you stop, please? Oh, for fuck's sake! Right, you can cure Tifa, please. Uh, Tifa, there we go. Have you noticed that Rude's not attacked Tifa once yet? I genuinely thought this was going to be a little bit easier. Um, right. Magic, fire, magic, bio. Let's get, let's try and get rude poison, shall we? You can just attack. At least try and poison rude. At least try and poison rude. Uh, Aerosith, right, you can just heal, please. Cloud, you can cross slash. I genuinely thought this was going to be easier than what it is. <laughs> than what it currently is. Sh um. Right, come on. Just get rid of Reno, please. Okay, at least Reno's paralysed. Right, Tifa. Fire. Aerosith. You can bio... Oh, no, no, don't bio him! He's already bloody poisoned, you pudding! I need to just get rid of Rude, really. Right, bio him. Would you stop curing him? I know, at this point, you'd be thinking, why are you just not getting rid of Rude? But uh, Rude does not... Rude does not hurt Tifa, so, and he will run away eventually, he will run away, run away eventually, oh, you absolute turd, okay, I'm just, I'm gonna keep you, okay, there we go, right, okay, right, do you know what we're gonna do now, is we're just gonna keep attacking, We're just going to keep attacking, and then Ru you'd hope that Rude will eventually... Oh, for fuck's sake. You would hope that Rude will eventually piss off. Uh, Reno, sorry. I want Reno to run away. 
Oh, f okay, dull. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Right, okay. Reno's gone now. So I know he, he won't attack Tifa. He just won't attack Tifa. Oh. The whole point of this was to make sure Aerith got some experience. That was literally the only point that I put her into this. Say, man. <sighs> That's really pissed me off. Anyway, Reno and Rude, done. Well, I'm going to crack on now and I'll join you back in Cosmo Canyon. After defeating the Turks, we can enter Gongaga. There's an old destroyed Marco reactor in the distance, and judging by the state of the town and its inhabitants, this seems to be the root cause of the depression here. As we enter a house in the south of the village, we're greeted by a lovely old couple who automatically assume Cloud is in Soldier from the glow in his eyes. They then ask him if he knows someone else in Soldier called Zack, and if you haven't gathered already that Cloud is the unreliable narrator of this story, the pieces should be starting to come together based on the reaction of the girls. Anyway, after this little side detour, we then venture through some canyons, and right on cue, the buggy decides to break down right in front of this town. Turns out this place is called Cosmo Canyon, and is where our four-legged friend Red 13 is from. We meet his wacky, crack-pipe-smoking granddad, Bugenhagen, a self-proclaimed planetologist, and he gives us an explanation about what the livestream is, and what will happen to the planet if it were to disappear. After this, the gang decide to go and toast some marshmallows around the campfire. Red 13 explains how he can't forgive his father for deserting his tribe when the Gee tribe came and attacked. Bugenhagen then floats along from absolutely fucking nowhere to tell Red 13 to follow him. So we pick a party and head on down to the cave of the Gee. We break open a few rocks to battle some Gee spirits for the experience, grab the mega important added effect materia, and then fight some spiders which look pretty harmless, but are absolutely fucking solid. After almost getting totally destroyed by these eight-legged monstrosities, we make our way to the back of the cave to take on the second boss of the episode. Well, folks, here we are in Cosmo Canyon, just about to go into the uh, Gein attack boss fight. You might be wondering why I haven't bothered curing anybody or making sure that everyone's up to full speed. And I'm going to show you now just why. That's why. Gein attack. Done. Didn't think there was much point in me showing you that. Let me know in the comments below how many times you'd played this game before you figured this out. After defeating Gein attack, we learn that Red 13's dad wasn't the coward he thought he was, but a warrior and a protector. He sacrificed himself and got turned to stone in the fight and still watches over Cosmo Canyon to this day. Aww. With that done, it's time to GTFO, and Red 13, or Nanaki, decides to follow Cloud and the gang on their mission to save the planet. Once out of Cosmo Canyon, we arrive at Nibelheim. Yes, that Nibelheim. Cloud and the gang arrive to find that the village hasn't been burnt down at all, and nobody in the village can ever recall it happening. Once we've looted the residents for some goodies, we make our way to the focal point of Nibelheim, Shinra Manor, and get ready to take on the third and final boss of the episode. Right, here we are in, boys and girls. This is a big one. This is uh, the second optional boss of the episode. This is going to be lost number. Now, even on a normal playthrough, this is fucking hard. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you what we've set everybody up with and how we're going to take on the lost number. So starters, let's go with Cloud. So what we've done with Cloud is we've got Shiva, Lightning and Enemy Skill. Again, that's a little bit redundant because there isn't any enemy skills we can pick up from this boss. Uh, we've also given him the long range materia as always to keep him in the back row. Uh, we've also given him Fire and Elemental. Um, just in case the lost number does do fire, which he san which he can sometimes do, he's going to get a little bit of a defensive buff from that. Moving on to Barrett. Barrett, we've just picked up the enemy launcher uh, weapon from him just in the chest to the next room. Uh, we've given him poison and added effect. So when Barrett actually just attacks normally, 
This added effect material we picked up from the Cave of the Gi. This added, added effect material is going to be a staple moving forward because what that will mean is when anybody attacks using that in a link slot in their weapon, there's a chance that whoever they're attacking could very well be poisoned. So we've given that to Barrett. Uh, we've also given Barrett ice, cover, and just an all material in there just to get the AP. Uh, we've got the Ifrit materia, and then we've given him restore and all as the tank that he is. Moving on to Aerisith, we got the fairy tale from Reno and Rude, summoned her out to f to be fair. Um, so she's got Chocomog, Titan, um, and uh, Ramu, the three summons she's got. We've also given her enemy skill and death blow uh, with a, an all material in there just to get the AP and fire and then a gravity and all again it, it, a lot of this is literally just to get the ap now what you'll also i did allude to this in the last episode what you'll also see at, at this point now is they've all got sadness and all of them are in the back row tranquil i've given them all tranquilizers now what that does is it makes their limit gauge go up slower but they're also taking less damage with a tranquilizer and not only that, they're also all in the back row. So moving forwards, this is what is going to happen. No one is going to be in the front row at all. They're all going to have tranquilizers for these boss fights. So all it means is they're going to take significantly less damage with the tranquilizer. But on top of that, they're in the back row as well. So they're not going to be taking as much damage as they would be doing. A, if they weren't tranquilized. And B, if they were in the front row. I need to do this. Well, I don't need to do it right now, but I want to do it, considering we're here. But for the experience, and also the gill, like I said, this boss, even in a normal run, is really, really quite difficult. We, we, we need some money. We are brassic. This is going to give us a little bit more gill, but also an experience boost as well. Um, so let us crack on. Now, there's also four numbers here, which literally are the four numbers that I remember most in the entire world. Right 36, left 10, right 59, right 97. So let's see if we can do it in the time frame and let you see if we can kick lost numbers arse. Right 36. Left 10. Right 59. Right 97. Done it. Here we go. Right then, right then. Here we fucking go. Right. Oh my god, this boss. Right, Barrett. Hit for it straight away. Uh, oh, thank Jesus, Navas. Uh, cross slash. Oh my Christ, is he dead already? Fucking hell! Um, right. Holy shit! <laughs> Was not expecting that. Um, I'm on the back foot straight away here. Uh, right. Barrett, uh, bio, please. Oh, f off. Um, God, I'm running out of Phoenix Downs. Right, at least he's poisoned. Oh, God, can Cloud stay alive, please? That'd be lovely. Thank you. Um, oh, Christ, on a bendy bus. Ice. Uh, Cloud, uh, you can... Shiva. Aerisith. Uh, Christ, I don't think Demi will work. Uh, Chocomog. Or do we save that? We might need to save that for the second phase. I'm going to save that because they might be able to paralyze him in the second phase. So we'll fire. Barrett, cure, please. Cloud, you can attack because you've got long range materia. Uh, right, um, no, again, save that. No, uh, fire. Barret, you can ice. Cloud, you can attack. 
God, my heart is absolutely f***ing pounding here. Magic, no. Yes. Uh, fire. Right. Limit. Barret. Ice. Cloud attack. Limit. Oh, I've also... Oh, f***. Yeah, seal evil. I forgot about that. And all. that's another thing. That's another one of the reasons why I wanted to get Aerith in. Because she got seal evil. And, it, and that paralyzes this boss. I hope I've not wasted that. Uh, ice. Fire. Attack. I don't know. It might be worth maybe attacking with Barrett here. It might be worth attacking with Barrett here. Aerosith, you can fire again. Bolt 2. Oh, Jesus. Um, right, Barrett. Oh, do I save it? No. Oh, it's changed. Oh, f which one's it? Oh, which one's this? Yes, it's the right one. Physical attacks. Physical attacks. Physical attacks. Physical attacks. Physical attacks. Uh, cure, please. Oh, f uh, Cloud, Phoenix down. Oh, f Magic, cure yourself, Barrett, please. Oh, f Oh, sh the fucking bed. Aerosith. Oh, no. 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 This is awful. This is fucking awful, Chocomog. Please paralyze it. Please paralyze it. Oh, my God. Please paralyze him. Yes, I have done. Right. I've kind of now just got to hope that he stays paralyzed for a length of time now so I can cure. Right, Barrett. Uh, I, um, can I, have I got any high potions? High potion, Barrett. Cloud can attack. Barret. Cure. Cloud. Cloud attack. Aerosith. Uh, summon. No, I can't do that. Oh, b oh no. Oh no. Cloud's dead again. Um, oh, sh the f***ing bed. Um, Phoenix down. Cloud. Uh, Aerosith. Magic. Demi. I don't think that's going to do anything. Oh, sh She's dead. Cloud, Phoenix down, Aerith, Barret, Magic, Cure, Aerith, the sisters. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Cloud, Phoenix down, Barret. I am, I am running absolutely low. Aren't Phoenix down's here. Um, Aspil? What the bloody hell's that? I don't think I've ever got to a point in these use that. 58 MP. All right. Um, Barrett. Oh, my Christ. <laughs> the bed. I genuinely didn't think I were going to do that. I genuinely did not think I were going to do that. Wow, and they all stayed alive. I mean, all right, I've lose, used a lot of Phoenix Downs, but they've all stayed alive. Jesus Christ. <sighs> wow. Like I said, that boss is hard normally, but to do it in this kind of run where I've not really been able to level up. Fucking hell. Wow. And um, Cosmo Memory, if you're not sure, is uh, Red 13's uh, ultimate limit break, which unfortunately in this run we're never ever going to be able to use because no, we're just not. And that's lost number. Done. If you want to see what's happened in the rest of the series so far, guys, you can check out this video right here. And if you want to see what's been going on in our Final Fantasy VII Rebirth highlights, you can check out this video right here. Thank you ever so much for watching. Please do give us a like and a subscribe. My name's Matt. 
better known as the Yorkshire Gamer, and thank you very much for watching.